All right, here we go. Um, I've got a simple circuit here on the bench that will roll up your car windows for you. When the car is off, and only if the car is off, this will detect a pulse from the electronic locks in the car and use that pulse to start a time delay of 10 seconds in which to roll up all four windows. So it will only do this if the car is off. If the car is on, it's disabled. So it's all set up as a prototype here. I've just got a motor um, and I'm going to trigger the switch as if the car was off and one were to lock the central locks. So here goes. So there it goes. Does it? nine or ten seconds. Now, I've provided a circuit in there for end of travel switches on the window motors, of course, so that the relay will actually turn off the window motor once the window is closed. The system will then disable itself after the timeout. This just means that you won't be wasting current pushing on a window that's already shut, like a lot of systems do. So in the next demonstration, I'm going to pulse the lock circuit as if the locks were shut in the car, and uh, then I'm going to operate the end of travel circuit, and you'll see what happens. So here we go, the car is being locked, windows are going up, windows have hit the end of travel. Okay, this is enabled, and then just disabled there. It stays enabled for the enable time, which is set at 10 seconds, after which time even if something were to happen, say for example an end of travel switch failed, the uh, system would no longer try to push the windows up. It's sort of a safety, a fail safe. It would work otherwise without the time delay, but if you ever had a short or something like that, it would provide current constantly. It's a little bit less safe. So that concludes this.